Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. Coming to you on Friday, August the 19th. The year's 2022. Let's talk trading. Weekly wrap up. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. And what a week it has been. But let's take a quick look at the monthly chart because this is just really uh, unreal. Um, earlier in the week, we had uh, broken above the previous month, or actually earlier in the month, we broke above the previous month's high. But you can see here, we're approaching the, the uh, yearly low. For the week, um, we missed the pivot, and we fell way down. Once again, we're almost near that yearly low. Um, we have one gap, two gaps that didn't fill on the uh, Aussie yen and the New Zealand yen, but the other gaps have filled. And looking at the daily chart, the opening range for the month, <laughs> the opening range for the week, and yesterday we uh, broke back into that opening range only to fall way out of it. Right now we're 227 pips below the opening range. It's just been a huge, huge drop these past couple of days. We had three days in a row and three days uh, signaling a buzzer reversal. So possibly on Monday, you can look for price to reverse. As I mentioned before, we're 64 pips off the, or now 65 pips off the yearly low. Uh, we are 1,702 pips below the yearly open. We broke out of the inside bar from last week, yesterday. You see we broke into it and fell below it. 222 pips at the moment. And for the inside bar on the uh, daily six bars ago, you can see last week we broke out of that and hasn't even thought about returning. Really not that much inside bar action here at the moment there's some there's a handful range today 144 pips and you can see we've got a bunch of pairs over 100 today not sure what made that happen but it doesn't matter what happens it what the news is it's how the market reacts to it as you can see here, green rats were 32 pips off of the daily low at the moment. Actually, I want to look at something here. This uh, hourly high hit 33.8, not quite hitting the uh, launch pad. Walmalls, is, I think, is still on vacation. He'll be back next week, but... Uh, he was trading this morning. He goes, hey, it's in the launch pad. I think it's going to go. And uh, and I go, no, I don't think so. And Well, we were both right. I was right in the short term. He was right in the longer term. So he thought it was going to launch through it. And I said, no, nope. because I, I was looking at the uh, indicator two on the uh, M5 chart and the price was just steadily moving down. And hanging out below it. There's that missed pivot from today. Bambino flex indicator set to go short, and it was definitely uh, on target today. For the daily, we missed the pivot. For the weekly, we missed the pivot, but we have taken out the monthly pivot this month. And for those of you who have been following my uh, h4 bias um you can see here we've got a these three missed h4 pivots that should probably they, they kind of need to be taken out um we'll just have to wait and see what happens they don't always get taken out as you can see here here's one back from the uh beginning of the year and we're uh 1884 pips below it at the, at the moment But it's just one of those things I like to see 
when it comes down and hits the bottom, this is the target. So probably right around 1.19, I think price could come back and take out that pivot. Uh, in and out of that lower wick zone, it definitely uh, tried to uh, break above the uh, previous day's low after it fell down the first time. But as you can see, it failed to make a new high and it's just plummeted. Now, here's some fun on the weekly chart. We have a 357 uh, pip range on the weekly which uh, is in the 75 percentile over the last 12 weeks. Um, let's see. The high minus previous high, we didn't break out, but low previous low minus the low was 256. Uh, high minus close, 321. Close minus low, 35 at the moment. This is for the rats. High minus open 19, open minus low 338 for the buy zone traders. And looking at the uh, sweet spots for the wall mall. And once again, you can see we've had these ranges mostly over 20 pips. The current one's only at 16, but we still have 15 minutes or so. Oh, uh, 12, 13 minutes left in the bar. Right there, 12 minutes. So it could, it could pop up, and we'll see. But if you've been trading and just trading the Walmart lines, there was definitely pips to be had. Very simple. You can see here the breakout of the previous H1 high is good for 3.8. It's actually good for a little bit more, um, but we pulled off of that, off of the current H1 high. Uh, looking at the lowest high, highest low, you can see here we had one at the... Uh, M1 11 bars ago, and price has moved up about 8.9 pips. You can see running three ball to three ball. You can see the, the price action here. So usually it puts in a three, might move it down and come up, putting a one or a two, come back down, ran all the way up to a three, came back down, put in another three, and then ran up and put in a two ball. And so, you know, a lot of people like to say this indicator repaints, but the reality is it just updates in real time. And we had a high of slow 26 bars ago at uh, 1831. Didn't quite get there. Hit the 30, a little past the 30, and came back down. Once again, you can trade those uh, horizontal line crosses if you want in either direction. But usually it's, it's better just to trade them um, with the H1 candle color. Or sometimes, like... Um, I've actually started trading with the M30 candle color because I see a lot of these reversals like here and here. So you get this flip-flop action. And a lot of times I'll let it go one direction, come back to the open and trade the open cross. And this is where it's going to get really interesting. Um, ATR for the month of August is 479. But if we take a look here, and if we show range by month, 
we're at 502. So we've passed July. April was the biggest. And we're just nine pips under May. So August has been, uh, has definitely moved the needle. Now, not a year to date accumulated. Even though it's moved it, it hasn't moved past that low. So we're still at 1989 pips of range on the yearly. So if you go back, and we can actually switch over to the monthly, you can see here that monthly open crossover was huge. It came, if you, if you want to the high break to the upside, and then if you took it to the downside, you could have gotten in early. You see it broke through the uh, previous month's close, this month's open, and it needs to range. So from here to here, from the, uh, let's see if I can get it to show. With all these indicators, uh, let's see, high 2293, open 2163. So what's that, 130 pips, but price needed the range. So when it came through, um, you could have placed your bet and then targeted for, you know, maybe another couple hundred pips, you know, just looking at the range here, thinking, well, you know, this is the ATR, it probably, probably needs to get somewhere close. And as you can see, it definitely moved. And I even think in the beginning of this moving up, I was thinking, well, maybe it'll keep going, but you know, you can make these projections, but you really need to project on both sides of, of a line. So when it crosses, you know what the target. And using these, uh, the ATRs or these uh, looking at the ranges and looking at the percentiles, you can figure, well, maybe it'll get somewhere at least to the 50 percentile. Even over the last 12 months, you can see that's pretty much right where it is 58 um let's see going back here uh, range by month we've seen that um close minus the open you can see we are definitely in the red right now 336 pips and we've got what 10 more trading days after today in this month you know anything can happen but it should be real interesting which way it goes if it pushes the edge or if it comes back towards the open we just have to wait and see so you can see we exceeded the previous monthly range by 15.6 pips says the sellers have strong control at the moment. We're below the previous mid. Cross below it, of course. Way below the pivot. We're just going to have to see what happens. If we have a missed pivot this month, that's something we can target for next month. So, fellow traders, I hope you enjoyed this week. We were talking about, um, you know, winning those prop firm uh trials and maybe we can get walmart walmart's take on it walmart walmart's take on it next week so i hope you've had a profitable week and i hope august is profitable for you so far and i'm gonna wish you a fun and safe weekend out there and when you come back and you sit down and start trading again Always remember, never forget, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. And please, please, when you watch my video, click the like button so YouTube will move uh, my channel up in the algorithms. This is the Rumpled One, over and out.